just a little tutorial to show you how you can access your OneNote that you've been given by your teacher for some of your individual Erla conferences. So once you are logged into My Pasco Connect, I would like you to click on the Office 365 application. Once you click on the Office 365 app, you're going to see a whole bunch of applications at the top here. You don't need to worry about any of those for right now. The only one you need to click on is OneNote. So you're going to go ahead and click in OneNote. And then you're going to see a bunch of different things at the top. You're going to see a button that says Recent, a button that says Pinned, My Notebooks, and then Shared With Me. That's going to be the tab that you are going to want to click on. So once you are in this screen, you're going to click on the spot that says Shared With Me. Now, depending on what your teacher has labeled your folder, you should see a folder with your grade level on it and the title that they gave their folder. So I might have third grade ERLA or second grade ERLA or I might have fifth grade ELA. Depending on what grade level you're in and what your teacher named your OneNote folder, you will be able to find it in this list here. Now once you are in your OneNote, you are going to have something that looks just like this. Your name is going to be on the side and I am showing you my screen as a teacher view. So of course your side is going to look a little bit different, but your name is going to be on the side after you see the words welcome, collaboration space, library, and then there will be parentheses with your name here. It's going to say student and your name. And I have blocked out the names of my students just for security reasons. Once you click on your name, this is going to be your folder, you will see the tab that says Erla or something else that your teacher might be requiring you to use this OneNote for, such as a reading log. I have my students use this for Erla and for their reading logs. So perhaps I'm going to click on the Erla folder. Your teacher is going to have all of this set up for you by your date. So if you have not met with your teacher yet for an Erla conference, you may not have anything inside your Erla folder. Just so you know, once you click on your Erla tab, you will have different dates in here, and this is where you will be able to access all of the work in your OneNote. You will also be able to type in here, and the work will automatically save for you. How cool is that? At the end of your conference between you and your teacher, you're going to see a spot at the bottom that might talk about the next time that you meet. I always find this helpful for my students and this is always a spot that I have my students look forward to before the next time that we meet. You guys have done an amazing job today logging into your OneNote and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you need to review any parts of the video, you may go back and review to see how you log into your OneNote as a student. Good luck, scholars!